I feel like the real endgame of Last Day on Earth is the weapon modding process and taking the time to invest in the weapons you already have, making them better, and allowing you to more easily complete the content that's already inside of the game. Now, this is quite costly and it uses a lot of rare materials, so I recently ran a poll to see which rare materials you guys thought were the most difficult to get, and by far, factory parts and carbon composite came in first. And if you've spent any time modding weapons inside of Last Day on Earth, you'll know that you can never have enough factory parts and carbon composite. So we're going to be taking a look at how Bunker Bravo, Recycling, and some other miscellaneous methods relate to that grind. Now, here's the funny thing about Bunker Bravo and how it relates to this grind, and it's that to complete Bunker Bravo, you kind of already need weapon mods, but you're playing Bunker Bravo so that you can get materials to build mods. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but you can complete Bunker Bravo with only common gun weapon mods. I wouldn't really recommend doing it, and it is a difficult strategy to complete, but it is going to reward you with pretty good stockpiles of carbon composite. Just do the second floor, and it is going to take a lot of strategizing, but as you can see here, the loot from that second floor chest gives us a nice amount of carbon composite. And this is going to be the most efficient method for getting carbon composite in Last Down Earth, even as counterintuitive as it seems. And it's worth mentioning that if you want to reference any of the stuff that I'm talking about in this video, I wrote a really long article before making this video, and you can reference that over at PressingX.com if you'd like to see a written version. So, the second method we're going to be taking a look at is the Recycler, and this is actually something that I would recommend to all players. Now, the Recycler for Firearms works like any other category, just about, and in that you level up your category to get better drop percentages for the items in that category. Here's where Firearms actually gets a little bit tricky, and it's that the UI that you are shown is actually not accurate. I have a low durability Glock on here, you can see that the percentages are actually really good, and I put on a full durability Glock, the percentages stayed the same. This is where things get tricky because the numbers that we are shown here are not accurate at all. And if you recycle low durability guns, you are not going to get any carbon composite or factory parts. You're going to have to recycle full durability guns to get good results. And here I've included an image of what I got after recycling five full durability Glocks. And it takes a lot of time and guns to level up the firearms category, but as you can see, you do get a good payout of factory parts. Not so much in the carbon composite, but that's where that Bunker Bravo strategy comes in. So some general tips, you're going to want to level up the firearms level by recycling only low durability guns. Don't waste your high durability guns on just leveling up this category. And waiting until the 25th level to recycle your full durability guns is actually just an arbitrary number I used. Really any level that you are able to accept the drop percentages for is acceptable. But uh, obviously, if you wait till getting to level 50, you're going to get the most bang for your buck. But that is going to require a lot of patience. The second tip I would give you is to go into any situation in Last Day on Earth with the mindset of, can I use a melee weapon instead of a gun here? So learning how to wall trick is going to be essential. Now, as you recycle full durability guns, you're also going to want to continue recycling one-shot guns, and you're going to want to prioritize recycling full durability lesser value guns. So if you've got a VSS and a Glock, you're obviously going to want to recycle the Glock instead of the VSS. And last but certainly not least, you'll want to plan out your modding process because you're not going to want to invest these rare materials into mods that you're eventually going to discard because that will just make this grind all the more longer. So, Bunker Bravo and Recycling are the primary methods for getting your hands on lots of carbon composite and factory parts, but there are a few miscellaneous methods that you can use to also build up your stockpiles. The first one being Sunken Chess, and this actually coincides with the boat grind. To get sunken chest, you'll need to level up your delivery reputation and you'll get crane keys. And those crane keys are going to translate into the sunken crates, which you can open up with your acid bath. And as you can see, you get a good stockpile of carbon composite and factory parts. There is more to this method than meets the eye though, and you're going to need to level up your delivery reputation before you can get access to increased drop rates. So I would recommend watching my boat guide video so you can understand a bit more about that, or checking out an article all about sunken crates over on PressingX.com. Another way to get your hands on a nice little stockpile of carbon composite is to invest in the Season Pass. This is a paid for option, so I'm just going to quickly brush over it because you do have to drop some cash, but you will get a nice amount of carbon composite. Also, keep your eyes open during seasonal events, as the last stage of this one would give us 10 carbon composites. You could also get some factory parts at the slot machine, 
but uh, this is not really a consistent way to get them. These are really just miscellaneous methods, and of course the best ways are going to be at Bunker Bravo and the Recycler. So, Bunker Bravo and the Recycler are the best methods, and in review, Bunker Bravo should be completed only when you have some common weapon mods already, and you'll really need to plan out the strategies you're going to use. The Recycler is going to be something that I would recommend towards everybody, and as soon as you unlock it, you're going to want to start recycling those one-shot guns to level up your firearms category. Now, as far as the miscellaneous methods, I would just recommend keeping your eyes out during any seasonal update because there are usually ways to earn factory parts and carbon composite during seasons. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you like the style and are interested in more informational Last Day on Earth videos, I've got over 30 of them now in my LD Log playlist. And thank you so much for watching this video, and have yourself a great day.